Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode here. Oh, well, not an episode, but a little video. So I keep seeing everywhere that LSPDFR uh, 0.4.8 came out, and everyone just is so excited. They can't wait, so they rush out, and they decided that they're going to go down and um, download it. So I'm giving you a little sneak peek into something that I'm doing so that we can try to go and further figure this out. So properties, let's see, uh, hmm. it's not going to actually tell me, which is fine, um, but how I've always understood LSPDFR works is LSPDFR's version is based off of the uh, Microsoft framework that it goes off of. So if I go in here, right, this is my, this is one of my callouts that I'm making and one of its references, you can see in my references, is LSPDFR. When I reference something, it has to, it has to have the same framework at least of what I'm referencing or higher because I can go backwards, I can't go forwards. So, all of these different plugins, Stop the Pad, Ultimate Backup, anything that uses LSPDFR has to use that framework. And you can see there's all these different frameworks, right? That's why you've got 3.5, 3.0, you know. I'm at 4.7, that's because uh, LSPDFR was at four or zero point four point seven. You can install other frameworks and stuff like that, which is probably what's going to have to be done. Like actually, if we go in here and we do install other frameworks, it's going to take me. I can install up to four point eight. Hey, look at that. That's what LSPDFR's new version is. Now, what does that mean? That means for every plugin that uses LSPDFR that has 4.8. That means they have to now go and install 4.8 and they have to reference 4.8 in their plugins and then they have to re-upload to LSPDFR. So in order to get 4.8 to work, you're either gonna have to remove everything that references LSPDFR, including your callouts, maybe some of your plugins, um, and, and things like that. You're going to have to remove all of them from you. And, and, and it's really easy. I'll show you guys a really quick way to do this. If I ever want to know what exactly is breaking in my game, just come here. And for everything in here, right, we've got Cyber Mastery, which this shouldn't be an issue because this is referencing mainly... Um, Rage plugin hook, not LSPDFR, but you start going into your LSPDFR folder and all of these, you're going to have to start going in here and do dot disable. You say that. So it's going to skip my super callouts. And I have to do it for everything in this folder until it gets updated. So there's my there's my quick little how to video and um you can look forward to this this call out pack later on. Um but for right now that is why it's failing on you guys. That's why you can't open it and it's it's going to happen. So anytime you see LSPDFR version change, be very weary. I just want to see if this caught it. Hmm. No? That's funny. Oh, it <laughs> that's funny. It didn't catch mine because mine didn't change. I didn't change it. So, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I will see you in the next video. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, let me know. And, uh, yeah.
I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.